I'm Dylan Hughes, Formula Drift Pro Driver, and I, well, me and my dad have had a dream for over a decade of going 200 miles an hour on the Bonneville Salt Flats on a motorcycle. Follow along, this is Permatex Flat Out 200. What a wild couple of weeks we've had. So going back to Lake Erie, uh, we actually came out to the event a little bit early as we were driving from New Jersey across. We stopped by Permatex's headquarters in Solon, Ohio. Uh, we ended up going there, going to do a factory tour, went and saw how all their different products are made and saw the assembly lines, which was actually really, really cool to me. Uh, very interesting and very streamlined process that they have, which is really cool. Hey, this is awesome. They got Mr. Arribato, Mr. Roboto over there. He's just ripping along, packaging. Said they're doing 40 bottles a minute right now and they're all coming out of that hopper right there. They'll drain one of those. Ultra gray, brother. That's the stuff we got all over our car right there. This is like going to Krispy Kreme and getting a donut off the donut line. Well, so we got, you know, we got the whole scoop on how, um, you know, the breakaway forces and the, what was the other one? Not breakaway force and then the prevail force. Prevail force, that's yes. what I was thinking of. So it looked like he had a very nice, even application on his bolts. And I was just curious how the literal professional who makes this stuff uh, applies it. So I'm just going to see exactly how he does it. <laughs> so when you go to apply a thread locker, you want to go to the, about the, the fifth or sixth thread in. So it doesn't have to be scientifically accurate or anything like that, but you don't want to definitely be at the tip. You want to be a little bit further in and you want to apply just a dab. So now then the key is you don't want to spin this too fast and squeeze out all of the thread locking material. You need that thread locker material to be in the voids itself. So as you can see, I'm going to make sure that the material is getting inside the thread. So I'm going to, I don't want it to squeeze out. I'm not going too fast. And then you do one quarter back turn and there you go. Also, we ended up doing a bunch of rides in my competition car in the parking lot. <laughs> bunch of employees for rides, put a bunch of smiles on faces, and it, it was really a really great vibe all around. Oh, that was awesome. I, I don't know how you get that much control. That, that's insane. So that was first, that was before the event. Then we cruised back over to Lake Erie, Pennsylvania. Went out there, ran a brand new track for the Formula Drift circuit. Nobody in Formula Drift has driven there before. The sanctioning body hasn't been there before. Went out there, we had our highest qualifying position of the year at that point, and we made it almost to the top four, so into the top eight in Formula D, which was our best finish of the season as well at that point. Massive momentum moving forward, and uh, now time has just been flying by. We're after Seattle now. We ended up getting a podium with the Permatex livery on the competition car, which feels unbelievable. My first podium in Pro NFD, which is like a massive, massive milestone and a huge confidence booster for us moving forwards. Back in Southern California, we are working on, on the Permatex Flat Out 200 bike. So this, uh, we're gonna go run at the Bonneville Salt Flats immediately after St. Louis, which is gonna be next week. Um, we got a lot going on, guys, so stay tuned and uh, can't wait to get this thing going. This bike is coming together and it looks sick. Pretty much gonna know that we've been here for a long time to come when this white concrete has a thousand black circles in it. I want to leave our mark, dude. And maybe, just maybe, I don't know. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like when the employees come in every day, they're gonna, remember that one time the dude with the thing and the blue car was doing that? That's me, they'll think about me every time they come here. That's what I want.